Welcome to Smarter Real Estate Weekly on Wednesdays. I'm Julie Tam, Managing Broker of Lynn Realty in Houston, and I arm you with practical strategies to be a smarter buyer, seller, tenant, or landlord as we represent all of those clients in sales and leasing, and we also manage over 300 investment properties for landlords in the greater Houston area. Well, you are watching my special series called Living in My Dream Home, and that's what we are doing here. This is a custom luxury home that we built from the ground up, and this episode is about furniture and decor in the breakfast dining and study. Now, I just want to mention that in previous videos, I've also gone over various areas of our home talking about other aspects, for example, like art installations on the walls and freestanding um, art. Uh, we've talked about other elements like lighting and um, hardware and plumbing fixtures and paint colors and cabinets and cabinet colors and you know cabinet poles flooring all of those things countertops and so go back and watch those videos for more details on those things that i'm not going to touch on today as today's focus is really just furniture and decor and of course the accessories that are surrounding these areas um, i've also gone through most of the rest of the home talking about furniture and decor i have a few more areas to go through upstairs but this is the final video about downstairs and of course, I've got to also take you guys out back uh, one of these days, but I am a mother of two now, a five-year-old and a three-month-old infant. Uh, both are boys, so I have my hands full as I've been trying to do a little bit of work as well during my pseudo maternity leave. Um, okay, so here in the breakfast, I just want to point out first this table. Of course, a breakfast table is typically centered right under the light fixture, which is what we have here. Um, it so happens that we do love these round light fixtures, and then the curves also work with the round shape of the breakfast table. This breakfast table, my husband and I bought from Ashley Furniture back in 2008. It is now 2024, so it is a six 16 year old table that we bought for our very first house that we bought together and at the time this was a modern design it was nice uh, it still is pretty modern and timeless um, but of course if you went out and bought a breakfast table now well we wouldn't choose this one again if, if this was for sale we would get something a little bit more modern and just you know a little bit more showy um, but at that time this is what we could afford and we kept it because you know it does work for the space the size of the space we like the glass I always like glass because glass makes the room feel airy. You can see through it. It's not this bulky, heavy, weighted thing in the middle of your room that just makes your room feel fuller and more cluttered. So I do like the glass. I also think it's neat when you look down through the glass that you can see the pattern of this circular shape that's connecting the four table legs, which kind of makes it really nice. Uh, the four chairs that go with it, because of the metal material, it's easy to clean and it's very durable. So it has been pretty hardy and durable all of these years. Um, the cushion is a little bit, you know, not so firm and supportive anymore. It was never a high-end cushion or chair to begin with. And of course, over all these years, you know, it's kind of flattened a little bit, but we've had these cushions steam cleaned before. And even without steam cleaning, the color of this fabric, and it's just easy to come off, you never see stains, which is great. And then when crumbs hit them, we can just vacuum them up easily. Um, our son, our five-year-old, is pretty clean for a kid, and so we're fortunate. You know, but even still, sometimes, you know, there can be spills and, you know, crumbs and things falling. And of course, we do have visitors. So while we had thought about reupholstering these chairs to something more fun, like, you know, maybe a lighter color with some pops of colors, maybe a floral pattern or something like that for the breakfast to liven it up, we thought, you know what, let's wait till the kids are older before we do that because we don't want to spend that money and then have it go to waste. Um, Scotch guard or even a professional stain treatment, pre treatment is great. Um, to try to prevent stains from absorbing in as quickly. This bench, another inexpensive buy, well, actually much less expensive than the table uh, set. So the table actually wasn't that inexpensive back then. It wasn't super high end, but you know, like for some young, you know, 20 something people starting out, it was a nice table. It's not just some standard, like cheap, plain wooden table. So this bench we had gotten, I believe it was from Bed Bath & Beyond or some sort of big box store like that. Um, and we liked it because it was functional. So you could sit down and you have like a space underneath the bench for storage. In this case, we're using it for shoes because that way we don't have to walk all the way across the house to the mudroom to get shoes to go out this door to the backyard or the back patios. And so here we have the shoes right there. We have a pair for each person. I have a pair of flip-flops and a pair of tennis shoes, depending on the weather. And then the bench itself serves a little bit of a purpose here too, because sometimes if you have 
four people at the table, then someone else can sit here to chit chat or even, you know, eat sitting here like an adult. Um, so that's useful for that. This breakfast, along with many other areas of our home, is window filled. So there are a lot of windows. There's not a whole lot of wall space in this home, which means there's not a lot of art that you can put up, which isn't that bad of a thing because to me, windows are art too, because you can look out to the natural view, which is like art. And of course, whatever window treatments that you put up are also really beautiful. And it all brings in a lot of nice natural light to make the home feel bright and it just um, is, is happy. And so we actually love lots of windows and the builder who built this home also tends to put a lot of windows in his home. And so that's what we ended up with. And therefore we only have two pieces that are on the wall, which I actually talked about in a, in a video about art. So go back and find that video. This shelf is what I like to call the wavy shelf because you know, it is wavy and it is from a European import store called your way as in E U R W A Y like Europe way. And uh, this store, uh, my mom actually bought this for me um, from that store like 21 years ago. Uh, when I moved out on my own, it was actually very nice furniture for a recent college grad. Um, when I moved, actually not moved out because I had already moved out into um, on-campus housing, but when I moved away from Houston at the time. So this is actually part of a set that matches because of this um, silver finish. Um, it's like a metallic finish. Uh, there's a, a bedroom set, which we are using now in Sky's bedroom upstairs. In our previous home in the guest bedroom, you've seen the set in, in multiple videos that I've done. And um, yes, it is, again, nice and airy, very thin, streamlined um, uh, you know, structure. And we use it to put some decor on it. Uh, the tree that is lit up, you can't really see it that well in the daytime, but at night it's very magical. You've got these little LED lights uh, and these chubby little birds in their nests. And we just love the look that that gives and it actually has snow on it <laughs> year round. But this brings the height up so that it fills all the way almost to the ceiling, which is great because the shelf itself is not that tall. I mean, I'm five feet tall and I'm taller than the top of the shelf. So it would have kind of been dwarfed had it been in the living room. So our designer that we use to help us consult on this home uh, suggested that it not go in the living room. And then we have just this little thing right here. It's not the greatest showpiece or anything, but we just had this little plant stand uh, from many years ago and then a little plant, uh, a little pot. Uh, and we actually put in a little flower bomb uh, from my son's school, our older son. Uh, they had a little project that they were doing uh, involving recycled paper that they could um, have like seeds and whatnot, and then they plant them and, you know, things start sprouting. So that's the beginning of that. Let me take you toward the front of the home to the dining room. So this is a much more formal look than the breakfast, but still there's a, an element of casualness to it. It's not super stiff and formal because the furniture is not super stiff and formal. You don't have these dark, heavy woods, okay? This whole set is from Z Gallery from 12 years ago, 2012. We bought this for our previous home. And what's great about this is these white upholstered chairs. We love um, the nail head design on the backs of them and also repeated here on the bench. Also love the look of the bench, which was kind of a newer design thing back then. Um, it kind of gives the, you know, your dining table, here I am like Miss Perfectionist, I'm, I'm noticing the crooked coaster holder. All right, <laughs> fix that. Um, so yes, this um, just gives it a different look instead of just a bunch of chairs around a table, which looks kind of more old school, is you have this fun bench. Of course, we've had to add these little cushions at the corners to help protect with kids so they don't run into the corners and hurt themselves. This table also has these extra leaves that extend the length of the table. So if you don't have a lot of people and you don't want to have the table take up a lot of space or if you have a smaller dining room, then it cuts off at this first seam and goes to that next seam, okay? Which means you can only probably seat like, I don't know, six people or something like that, but, or maybe eight people, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six people. But now you can extend it to add on an extra chair on either side, okay? Which right now we have our two chairs back in the corners because typically we don't have that many people here with us dining. And so if we did and we needed to pull up extra chairs to the table, then we could certainly do that and flank the bench with those uh, chairs, for example. Here is a server and hutch, uh, also from Ashley Furniture, also from 2008, 16 years ago, when we bought all this furniture to furnish our new house at, in Louisville, Kentucky. And this um, server, you could have just this part and below, which you can then serve, like put dishes on, and, you know, platters of food or whatever, and then serve guests dining. But of course, when you buy the hutch, then you have 
basically a china cabinet where you can display things um, for decorations and then also store things here uh, underneath. So we've got both together and then a piece of um, a tapestry, an Asian tapestry up on top. Um, and so it, it really, um, it does work interestingly. It's not a matchy matchy thing with the dining set, but it works with it. And our designer actually liked it, thought this was a really solid, high quality, nice looking piece. And so even though um, it's not a more modern style, it works. It m reminds me of a Tibetan style with the way the knobs are and then the shape of it, like just these angles and the trim work. Um, and our home is really a transitional modern style home. So it's not super contemporary and it's not super traditional. It's somewhere in between. So there's definitely modern elements, um, namely the brand new things that were installed, like everything in the home, like light fixtures like this, for example. Um, but then because of some of the transitional things, the things that are like not super new, but you know, not super old either. Uh, and we also do have, you know, a few pieces of furniture that are much older, that are like a few decades old, but that we had reupholstered and they, you know, and then styles have come back since then, come back around. Um, and so those pieces, as I've shown you in some other videos, um, even though they are vintage, they have kind of a new life. So there's a hint of vintageness, but with a touch of modern. So I really like that because it gives you that comfort, right? It's not super contemporary and stark, even though I do appreciate that design, but this gives you a comfort, a familiarity that, you know, these are things from old, um, but then there's also some new modern pieces that are nice and pretty and that we can appreciate with current styles. So it's a great um, kind of melding of these two designs. All right, and then I talked about window treatments in um, other videos, so definitely look back at those, but you can see how these custom drapes really tie in with the colors of both the light dining set and the darker um, China cabinet server hutch back there. We like to have the shades down partially sometimes as you can see with those two side windows um, you, we love these light filtering shades very pretty very airy and it really goes with the decor and then sometimes we like to have them all the way up like this front set of windows it really has a nice view of this live oak that's actually from our neighbor's yard and it grows over ours because we don't have such a large tree on our lot um, right now of course the view could be better if we didn't see construction vehicles parked across the street working on the house next door but nevertheless the light streaming in, the big, large pieces of glass just really um, makes it a nice dining environment for brunch when it's bright out. And then in the evening, it's very elegant when these lights really cast a nice, interesting hue over this entire room. And of course, we have the Celestron telescope in the corner. This is a gift that I had got my husband um, in 2007, the year we got married. All right. And then G. Harvey artwork on the walls, which I talk about in another video. Let's cross the foyer over to the study, which is the room we will end in. And as we come in here, I will um, mention that I do go into more detail about the built-ins um, in my video about organization and how we utilize this. So today I'm not gonna go into that, but focusing more on the furniture. So this room, the challenge was how to fit two desks. Most studies that you see will have one desk in the center. And then, you know, you could have maybe like a little sitting couple chairs over in the corner or whatever else. But, um, you know, you really just have the main desk in the center. But we have two desks we want to fit in here because both of us do work from home sometimes doing our own work and our personal things. So we need to figure out how to fit these desks where it wouldn't feel too cluttered. Um, this is the L-shaped desk from our previous home. It's actually from Office Depot. Again, really liked it because of the glass tops. It gives you a lot of surface and it, you know, takes up some space. It's not a huge desk, but it's not a tiny desk. And so we wanted something that, again, filled, uh, felt airy and not super heavy, like a big wooden, thick, heavy desk, you know? And it also comes with two matching filing cabinets. So that way it also provides extra storage. Um, this vintage TV did not come with it. <laughs> that thing is like 25, 30 years old or more. I'm not even sure, but it still does work. And you know what? It doesn't take up a lot of space. And if we want to just put the news on in here, because we need to know what's going on, get an update, <laughs> then we can use that. Um, so my husband chose to take my old desk because he's a little messier, as you can see. Um, not, not too bad for a guy, but you know, messier than me. Um, and he totally told me to go ahead and say that so that way people would know, you would know, 
that, you know, this is why his desk looks like this, but he wanted to be in the corner so he wouldn't be on display. And so I'm the one on display. Um, this is a working desk, right? This is not one of those study desks where you come in and there's like nothing on it, but just like a couple little decorative items and it just looks nice. No, I work here, okay? So yes, I have equipment, but it's just neatly placed. So what I've done to actually increase the space is this glass, it's actually a pair of glass little table um, tops that you know provide lift and it actually is for putting a monitor. So I have a, a dual monitor set up with this monitor and then of course my laptop gives me the second monitor and this is a computer desk. So you have a keyboard tray and um, you know, it's not a full size desk, but it's big enough for me because I do a lot of things electronically these days. So I don't have a lot of paper. And then if I do have extra paper that I need to kind of organize or mail that comes in and I need to, you know, stack them um, to get them where they need to go, then this desk surface as part of the built-ins is a great way to do that. Um, and finally, so because of the built-in, there's furniture in here that is already built in, so we don't actually have to buy it. So this nice little um, custom upholstered cushion that we had fitted to this space is actually um, like a little treasure chest. So it's a hinged lid where we store more things underneath. But yeah, this is like really nice. Like I've sat up here before just holding my little uh, infant baby and you know, you can look out the windows um, and it is, it's nice and supportive and cushy. You can put your feet up and then, you know, read a book if you're so inclined. Um, but yes, this is a new desk chair for me because my old one of, um, gosh, I don't know, like 20 years, I think, something like that. Uh, one day I was sitting here and the whole thing just collapsed because one of the wheel um, thingies, like this thing, it just cracked over time. And then just the chair and I just went like, whoa, I almost fell out of my chair. I kind of like launched and just took a few steps and caught myself. So we have this nice new chair. I forgot what company, it's from Branch, right? Branch, yes. So great chair, especially for short people. It gives you good lumbar support, ergonomics and all of that. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and get to work. Uh, thank you for joining me for this Smarter Real Estate video weekly on Wednesdays, and I hope you will be back again. Please don't hesitate to comment or message me with any ideas or feedback, uh, ideas for future videos, things that you want to see or questions. And I hope you will like this video if you found it helpful and interesting, and also subscribe so you don't miss an episode that I post on YouTube. And then of course, link on Facebook and LinkedIn as well. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.